Hi and welcome to my channel. Look, the UK Home Office and Immigration Service is on a mission to crack down on everybody that is charging overseas candidates or people already in the UK thousands of pounds, millions of money to get visa sponsorship to remain or move to the UK. When I'm saying this, look, if you're watching this, let me tell you there are three scenarios and this is the reason I'm doing this video. The first scenario is that if you're watching my videos, then you don't do it, which means if you're watching these videos right now and you're planning to pay somebody to get a job in the UK, then I'm saying that you should not do it. That's why I'm doing this video. The second reason I'm doing this video is that if you've already paid somebody and got a job in the UK, I'm going to tell you what you should do immediately to kind of let go of a predicament that is on its way. That's the second reason. The third reason I'm doing this video is that if you haven't paid yet to get a job in the UK and you watch this video and you pay anyway, what should you do immediately or what should you be doing still? Look, if you're new to my channel, you're welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate your time. And look, I'm here for implementation. I'm not here to give you information. You listen in one ear, you're like, oh my goodness, Melvis, you like to go on about these jobs and UK things and blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Look, this is very important. I'm telling you because I'm living this every single day. In my private coaching program, I've had six people in August receive letters from immigration services to say that their visas have been cancelled. Six people in August alone. And let me tell you, we've still got 10 days. Well, as of the day I'm recording this video, we still have 10 days for August to end. So six people. And the thing is, three of these people only just joined my coaching program, which means that they haven't got any jobs yet. And then two of the people have had jobs and they are currently going through their pre-employment checks, but yet it is like a mad rush for us now. One person has an interview coming up next week. So you can imagine like the level of adrenaline and all the feelings that these people are having. And I know that there are millions, thousands of families in the UK going through this current situation, going through this predicament at this point in time. That's why I'm sharing this video. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, like really, you want to hit that subscribe button right now. So you're the first person to be notified every single day when I drop a new video on here. But most importantly, I do have a free newsletter where I send information directly to your inbox about free UK visa sponsorship opportunities. When I say free, I mean completely free. Yes, there is work to be done because there are two things in life. You're either spending money to get what you want with more work coming or you're spending your time to get what you want. And so what I'm telling you is you should spend your time to get legit UK jobs. If you check the comment section below, you're going to see a link to my newsletter. It's completely free. It won't take you up to 20 seconds to join. You drop your name and your email and you're part of that newsletter. When any information becomes available, jobs in the UK, you know, work from home jobs, side business ideas that you can do, career progression opportunities, changes to visas, updates, job opportunities, I send directly to your inbox so that you're not reliant on the YouTube algorithm, but you've got that information firsthand directly on your inbox. So you need to join 100%. So what am I talking about in today's video? Look, I'm very passionate about this because I started my own UK journey as a carer in a nursing home. Luckily for me, when I started my UK journey, there was none of this. There was nothing like you pay people, they give you a job and then there's no job or there's a job and things like that. There wasn't any. So some of us were lucky. But for those of you that are coming to the UK now, it is a very messy business. And I do appreciate that it is challenging to find a job. It is difficult when you're applying for jobs and you've had you know, hundreds and hundreds of job applications and you're still getting that unfortunate email. It is very frustrating. And yes, you want to move to the UK ASAP or if you're already a student in the UK, for example, and you're looking or you're just looking to switch, you want to have a job immediately. But the truth is that there is no shortcut around this. You need to apply for jobs legally so that you're settled when you get a job. You know that, look, you know, you're not going to be worrying every single day. That's basically what I'm saying. If you're receiving unfortunate emails, what should you do? You need to have a look at your CV. You need to have a look at your job application. You need to have a look at how you're articulating your experience, your knowledge. Which jobs are you applying for? Are those jobs even appropriate for you? Is that the best opportunity for you to go to? 
for. Those are the sorts of things that you have to be doing. You cannot keep doing the same thing over and over again if you're getting unfortunate emails. You have to change something. And by the way, if you're watching this and you're not sure who I am, so my name is Melvis. I work as an advanced nurse practitioner for the NHS here in England, so I live in the UK. Um, I have a private career coaching program where I support with career progression in the UK, securing free UK visa sponsorship opportunities. Like I've said, this is not the easy path. You know, what I do is not the easy path. It is the difficult path because you have to be involved in the process yourself. But you know that when you do get a job, it is a legit job and you're not panicking. Not only are you not getting into debt, selling your land and everything to get those jobs, but actually you get a job and you know that you are going to settle into a job. So like I say, it is not an easy option. It's only for the top 1%, like I always call the people who join my coaching program, but it is all worth it. It is worth it. So if you want to know more about my private coaching program, if you check the about section of this channel or the description box below, you're going to see a link to join my private coaching program. And like I've said, whether you're looking for a visa sponsorship job as a carer, as a nurse, as a midwife, as a teacher, you're looking for those nanny jobs, any job that offers free UK visa sponsorship in the UK, obviously, I can support you with that. Who are the legit employers that you can apply through? How do you apply? Where do you apply? What are the expectations? How should your application be presented? What about the interview? What are the interview questions that they're going to ask you? How should you position yourself, you know, in order to respond adequately, appropriately, succinctly so that you are successful? That is what the program is about. So like I said, it is not a shortcut, but it is the right way that you should rightfully so be pursuing. So if you're watching this right now, that is perfect for you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there in a very good way rather than later on in the future when things are really tough and you're like, hey, Melvis, I've got a letter to cancel my visa. What are we going to do? At that point, I'm going to be like, well, you know, where were you all this time? Obviously, I'm still going to help you out then. But I mean, you know, if we can avoid all of that, that is so much better. So if you're watching this right now and you're applying for UK jobs, what should you do if you're getting those unfortunate emails? Because like I've said, the home office is on a mission to crack down on all these employers that are charging candidates, which means that as long as the company that you're working for is charging has charged anybody any money if they find out everybody's visa is going to be cancelled the license is going to be revoked and this is going to affect you because i was having a conversation with somebody just a few days ago and they were like oh but you know i hope that everything goes well you know this is what i've done oh my god melvis i just found your videos on youtube I'm really panicking now. What's my situation? I was like, girl, you need to be looking for a job because if you pay to come to the UK, you're not safe because you're going to suddenly one day get a letter from the home office or from your company saying, oh, license is revoked. And like I'm saying, this is something that I live every single day. So you want to avoid that. If you find yourself in such a situation, which means you've, you've paid to get a job or you're paying to get a job, or you've paid to get a job, whatever situation it is, you need to keep looking for a UK job continuously. Don't stop looking for a job, even if you're already, if you're still back home and you need to keep looking for a job so that you get a legit job and switch your visa immediately. Because when you bring your dependents in this country, you bring your kids, you know, you bring your husband, you bring your wife, you bring your parents, whoever it is that you bring, and you're not sure whether you're going to be here the next day, mentally it is very stressful. Already settling in the UK is stressful enough when you've got everything done legally. When you have to worry whether you're going to be here the next day, it is even worse. And like I say, I, you know, I deal with colleagues who are going through this and it is a terrible situation to be in. So please, you cannot stop looking for a job. You have to keep looking for a job until you get a legit UK job with a company that is doing everything as it should legally. That is the only time that you can settle and say, look, I have indeed got a job in the UK. And if you've got a job right now with one of such companies, please hold it tight. You know, if you're changing or switching your visas, it should be because of things like career progression. Like I always say, the more jobs you have, obviously, the better. 
Um, it should be because maybe you've bought a new house somewhere else in another city and you're moving or you're moving because the place is very expensive. You know, things, the normal things and the normal reasons that you would move in life. It is very normal. But if you've paid to come to the UK, do not sleep a day. Do not settle. Be looking for a job immediately because sooner or later, that company is going to be cut up. And when the company is cut up, every single person that is in that company is going to go down. And that is why I'm doing this video so that you are aware of this information and you are safeguarding yourself. You're safeguarding your family. You're not taken on awares when it does happen. Because, look, if you're not reporting, someone else is going to report. Or the home office is going to do an audit and you're going to see people that they're like, hey, where do you say you worked before? You know, what questions did they ask at the interview? And many people will not be able to answer that. And the home office is going to then do an investigation to find out that actually this is a bogus company and they're not respecting the rules and then the license will be revoked. Like I've said, you don't want to find yourself in such a situation in the uk right now what is your situation in this country and if you haven't subscribed to my channel like for real you want to hit the subscribe button like i've said so that you know you're the first person to be notified every single day when i drop a new video on here also if you like this content you know what i mean as it is obviously it's not the best news but just hit that like button. It lets me know that you enjoy content like this. And obviously, I should do more. You know, I cannot call out names of companies because that's out of my remit. You know, it's up to you as a candidate to make sure that you're doing your research extensively and you know exactly what to do. If you're part of my coaching program, I would not never recommend any company that is charging candidates. If you're not part of my coaching program, please do not send me a message saying, Melvis, can you investigate this company, whether it's legit or not? Because I'm going to say to you, I'm really sorry. You need to find out yourself. Because the truth is, I don't have time um, investigating different companies and different people. No, go to the government website. It's got the list of legit companies. But more so, it just depends. If something doesn't feel right, then it is not right. That's what I always say. If something does not look right, it is not right. So... What do you think about this? Again, my newsletter, check the comment section below and do join so that I send that info directly to your inbox so that you got, you're kept informed. You're aware of all the changes, updates that are going on in the UK, the best opportunities that there are in this beautiful country for you to go for. But if you need that tailored, individualized and personalized guidance, then consider joining my private coaching program, which you'll find a link in the description box or the about section of this channel. I'm looking forward to seeing you and working with you because the truth is if you're watching my videos then I know you're going to do the right thing and you're going to persevere and apply for those jobs and make sure you're doing things the right way. Thank you. I'll see you in this video as well.